Daniel Medvedev versus Alexander Zverev. It's the second semi-final for the Men's Australian Open for 2024. And both are about to fight to get to this stage. Zverev entered the tournament as the number six seed and will take on Kopfer in the first round. And after dropping the first set, would fight back to win 4-6, 6-3, 7-6, 6-3. In the second round, he'd take on the qualifier Klein. Zverev would fight back to win 7-5, 3-6, 4-6, 7-6, 7-6. In the third round, he'd take on the youngster Mickelson, who had just taken out Lehechka in the previous round. There's no problem for Zverev getting through in straights. 6-2, 7-6, 6-2. In the fourth round, he'd take on Nori, the 19th seed. And again, Zverev would be forced to play 5, 7-5, 3-6, 6-3, 4-6, 7-6 to advance to the quarterfinal. In the quarterfinals, Zverev would take on the number two seed, Alcaraz, who he had just beaten at the ATP finals in November of last year. And after demolishing the first two sets, Zverev would have to fight to win 6-1, 6-3, 6-7, 6-4 to advance to the semi-finals. Medvedev entered the tournament as the number three seed and will take on the qualifier at main in the first round. And after dropping the first set, Medvedev would fight back to win 5-7-6-2-6-4-1 love retirement. In the second round, he'd take on Rusevori. And after dropping the first two sets, Medvedev would fight back to win 3-6-6-7-6-4-7-6-6-love. In the third round, he'd take on the 27 seed Oje Aliassime, a man that he'd played an epic five-setter against two years ago. But this is not the same match with Medvedev getting through in straights, 6-3, 6-4, 6-3. In the fourth round, he'd take on Borges, the unseated player who would come through players like Dimitrov and Fakina along the way. And after dropping the third set, Medvedev would wrap it up in four, 6-3, 7-6, 5-7, 6-1, to advance to the quarterfinals. In the quarterfinals, Medvedev would take on the number nine seed, Hubi Hercatch. And this was a battle, with Medvedev taking the first and Hercatch taking the second, pushing it all the way to a fifth, 7-6, 2-6, 6-3, 5-7, 6-4, six, with Medvedev advancing to the semifinals. These guys have played 18 times before with Medvedev having won 11 of those times, but he has also won most of them in the recent times as well, including five out of six from last year. Zverev only getting one win. That was in Cincinnati when the conditions were really windy. Zverev's going to win this one. He needs to kind of play like he did in the first two sets against Alcaraz. He was so, so aggressive, and he just smothered Alcaraz with winners and aces, and he served amazing too. That's going to be a big part of it as well. Also coming to the net, using that variety, drop shots. We all know Medvedev doesn't really like those things against other guys like Alcaraz, for example. So Zverev's going to have to do that too. If Medvedev's going to win this one, he's going to have to probably win the first set. His energy levels were a little bit weird in the Hercatch match, and he did look a little bit off towards the end. Now, we don't know whether he's playing in the day or the night, so it might depend on what day or night he's playing, and that might determine whether or not he has to keep those energies up. But it's going to be really tough for Medvedev physically if he can't get the first set or two. This is the first time we're seeing these guys play in a slam, and that is insane considering they played 18 times, never in a slam, I gotta go with Medvedev though in four. I think Medi gets the job done. Sasha's also played a lot of tennis, just like Medvedev. I've gotta go with Medi in four. He's got the more experience and he makes the final, but let me know down in the comments below. Who have you got in the final?